In this session we will talk about what is business intelligence. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. So what is business intelligence? The real short answer is business intelligence helps you analyze the past and come up with the strategies to improve the future. Now let's zoom into this diagram here and find out how all this happens, how companies analyze their past and come up with strategies for the future and how business intelligence also known as BI tools help achieve all this. When companies perform their day-to-day -day operations either using IT systems like ERP enterprise resource planning software or some other applications or when they perform manual operations data gets generated let's call this raw data most of this data is residing in databases some of this data could be outside IT systems as well this raw data needs to be analyzed and we need to extract meaningful information from this data and based on this meaningful information we need to come up with strategies for the future and the objective is company could make more profit and company could be more stable in future making future decisions directly based on this raw data is nearly impossible this has to be converted into meaningful information typical objectives of a company would include more stability and more profits in future more profits could mean increase in revenue or reduction in cost or expenses so coming back to the original definition that we talked about in short business intelligence help you analyze your past and come up with strategies for future so your past is stored in the form of all this raw data it, this needs to be analyzed and the future would be the strategies that you make to come up with more profits and stability so you can base your planning on the meaningful information not on the raw data directly and it is the business intelligence that converts this raw data into the meaningful information so who looks at this meaningful information that is generated by the BI business intelligence it is the management of the company who looks at this information and they take actions based on this information and these actions or a set of actions also you can call the strategy would result into a better future so we understand the role business intelligence is playing to help company analyze their past and make actions that will result into a better future but what is business intelligence is this a software or is it a process the term business intelligence is mainly used for an approach and that could be a technological approach or business process approach so this umbrella term includes anything that you are doing to convert raw data into meaningful information typically you would be using some kind of a business intelligence software also known as tool or application that would assist you perform this conversion of raw data into meaningful information but this term may also include some processes that you have to go through some business procedures that you have to go through to reach this objective the objective of the company is to make profit but the climate in which the company is operating is changing with time and so does business procedures of the company is changing with time and so does the business intelligence approach or the business intelligence procedures and the technology the approach would include both things so the approach is changing with time so it's not something that a company would download and install and say okay we are set now for life in terms of business intelligence a company would be reevaluating their business intelligence approach every now and then just to make sure it is at par with the business climate and it would be evolving with time that is why the objectives of most of the business intelligence technology project is to provide certain amount of value within a predefined period of time if we talk about business intelligence technology let's say if we install or implement a business intelligence tool 
what functions are we expecting from this technology when we say business intelligence converts the raw data which represents our past into meaningful information so that we can improve the future so this is the meaningful information that is coming out of a business intelligence tool it gives you business views it gives you business performance management and it gives you querying and reporting when we talk about business views we are talking about the past views the current views and predictive views business intelligence software is capable of predicting the future based on the trends that exist in the past how does business performance management is performed mainly this function is implemented around the concept of key performance indicators also known as KPIs KPIs are mainly ratios of one entity over the other that indicates the health of the company for example a very common KPI is debt to equity ratio another example would be accounts payables turnover accounts receivables turnover etc so these ratios indicate health of a company from a certain angle and management wants to track KPIs certain KPIs uh, one period over to the other so this way they can see in which direction the company is going and business intelligence software helps them do that reporting functionality is provided by the business intelligence software that includes online reports sometimes also known as inquiries or online queries and also batch reporting where you submit a report and then you wait for the report to finish and then you take a look at the output in order to offer this functionality a business intelligence software might rely on certain technical approaches for example benchmarking data mining predictive analysis you should be able to distinguish between the functionality business intelligence software is offering like the views reports and KPIs etc with the approach it is taking to offer that functionality there are certain terms floating around in the IT industry that are used in certain scenarios for one purpose and yet in another, another scenarios for another purpose and originally they were created for a different purpose so there are some confusions out there however if you keep things simple it is not very confusing so the benchmarking basically is a concept of comparing your numbers with the industry numbers and business intelligence software are capable of performing that and the benchmarking concept is built in into the KPIs the views and reporting and mining is the concept when you look at the past data and you try to determine a trend that is called mining and predictive analysis is when you try to predict the future obviously based on the trends so all these features are built in to the business intelligence software actually all this is residing within the guts of business intelligence software but the functionality is offering to you would mainly come in shape of views uh, performance indicators and uh, reporting so as we already talked about benchmarking is when you compare your numbers with the industry and mining is when you discover patterns in the past data and predictive analysis is to make future predictions okay now let's go a little bit higher into the picture so we understand why business intelligence is required what does it do it converts the past into meaningful information so that we can get back to the better future and what functionality does it offer mainly views performance indicators and reporting and inquiries and where is this data coming from it is coming from your online transaction processing system mainly this is the source and what is the online transaction processing system you can say this is your IT solution that you have implemented if you are using an enterprise resource planning software which are a special breed of software that is implemented throughout the company it has modules that are integrated and it gives you a complete picture just because all the modules are integrated you might not be using ERP you might be using different software in, in each of your department whatever the case is this database is representing your transactional information so it has all the transactions that are taking place in your company your journals invoices 
and uh, other transactions, receivable transactions and so on. If this data is coming from online transaction processing system, then what about data warehouses, online analytical processing systems? In my other videos, I have talked in detail about online transaction processing systems and online analytical processing systems, but here we're just going to talk briefly about the purpose of the warehouses. The purpose of OLTP systems is to capture the transactions very fast that are happening on day-to-day -day basis. And the users of OLTP systems are clerks and the, the people who are termed as end users. They are data entry people. Management is not really interested in day-to-day -day transactions. They are more interested in running reports on, on history. So management needs to have access to systems that are geared towards performing queries and reporting rather than capturing the transactions fast. So a separate system exists in most of the big companies and they call it warehouse or online analytical processing systems. Data is extracted from all the OLTP systems. A company may have multiple OLTP systems. It's extracted, massaged and then copied over to the warehouses. This happens periodically and there's a lag. Obviously not up-to-date information is available on OLAP system. But the way data is stored in OLAP systems is very different than how it is stored in OLTP systems. In OLTP systems, two-dimension storage tables. It has rows and columns. Here we have cubes. It's a three-dimension system. And uh, it is geared towards running heavy-duty reports. And usually these databases are different too. They are not the same databases as used in OLTP. There are a few exceptions like SAP HANA that could be used for both purposes, but usually they are different databases like Oracle Express would be an OLAP database and OLTP database would be Oracle Relational Database. When reports are run against warehouse systems, the concept is called analytical processing. Management may want to slice and dice the information from different angles, so they are doing analytical processing. Now the question is, where does that fit into the concept of business intelligence? So by definition, analytical processing that is happening against the warehouses will fall under the umbrella of business intelligence as well. But when we use the term on day-to-day -day basis, we more refer from business intelligence to what, we, what is really called real-time business intelligence. Real-time business intelligence is something that is coming out of OLTP systems and this intelligence is built into most modern ERP software. So real-time business intelligence would mean even though the system is OLTP it is tuned for capturing the transactions rather than performing reports and queries but it's still business intelligence is available to the business users. The clerk might want to see how many invoices are outstanding right on the screen of invoice entry, for example. So this kind of intelligence that is given to the business users right on the screens that they use on daily basis directly from OLTP system without going into OLAP is called real-time business intelligence. So by the strict definition of business intelligence, even analytical processing will also fit into the same umbrella, but sometimes, as I said, the term is used for real-time business intelligence. Now let's zoom out a bit further. We talked about OLTP systems where data is stored in tables. We have talked about warehouses where data is stored in cubes. All this data is a structured data. A structured data meaning the data is stored in predefined objects and you know the specifications of the object. For example, in tables we know it has X number of columns and this column will have this kind of values either text or numeric and so on. There is a lot of unstructured data that is getting generated especially recently because of so many sensors, so many GPS units, so many log files, so many software are in use and so on. And most of this data is unstructured and it is not being stored in either OLTP system 
or in OLAP system examples would be log files multimedia including audio video photos social media chats posts that you are doing on the social media websites communications like emails text messages and so on you might want to check my other videos on big data that's not the topic for this video but I just want to point out that this is a problem for this year and coming years that companies will be focusing on capturing this unstructured data that is getting wasted it is not even captured and obviously then not even analyzed and this has a lot of meaningful information that could be taken advantage of so most of the companies are making decisions based on only 10 percent of their data so business intelligence software are going against only 10 percent data the rest of the 90 percent is right now not captured and not analyzed so obviously that is something that companies would be doing in near future so the question is where would this big data analysis fall into is that also under the business intelligence um, umbrella yes it is so in strict terms this also fall into the same umbrella but when the term business intelligence is used it is mostly referring to the intelligence that is coming out of the two systems transaction processing and analytical processing and the term big data analytics would be used to refer to the unstructured data the term business intelligence was first used in 1958 in 1960s there was a breed of software common called decision support systems they were close in functionality to what business intelligence is offering these days so that was the closest match available in those days in 1980s we had different types of software out there executive support systems online analytical processing systems decision support system and so on it was in 1989 when the term business intelligence was used to capture all these systems under one umbrella keep in mind today the way business intelligence term is used it is not only pointing to the software it is pointing to the whole approach that may include things outside software like business procedures now there are vendors that offer business intelligence solutions the list is very big these are the popular ones Oracle and SAP are the big players Oracle Enterprise Business Intelligence Server and Oracle Hyperion are popular products then we have SAP NetWeaver Business Intelligence and SAP Business Objects we have SAS Enterprise Business Intelligence Server Microsoft also offers Microsoft Business Intelligence and IBM have their product to IBM Cognos Series 10.